seeks an apology from a young Long Island man after he created fake photos of former classmates and shared them on a pornographic website. The troubling case has promoted the NASA DA to draft new laws for so-called deep faking because as CBS 2's Carolyn Gustoff reports, they don't exist in New York. Patrick Carey of Seaford addressed his victims in court. I don't expect forgiveness, he said. I'm just sorry for severely harmful acts against former middle and high school classmates in Levittown. Arrested in 2021, he superimposed the faces of 14 girls onto images of sex acts and shared them online with their personal information, encouraging others to harass them. A frighteningly simple process called deep faking. There's no satisfaction, but. You know, uh, I just pray for the victims and, and hope they're able to go on with their lives. Anguished parents and victims were in court. One young woman spoke for all when she told Carrie, I will never forgive you. I hear your name and I feel sick. The judge said his truly despicable behavior amounts to mental violence. The sentence, six months in jail, 10 years probation, lifetime status as a sex offender. He didn't get what he deserves, you know that. New York has no criminal statute addressing the act of manipulation. Relating an image to cause harm. DA Ann Donnelly wants to change that. She's drafted three proposed laws to close a loophole and keep up with the dark side of technology. The proposed statute will finally address criminally the threat of deep faked explicit materials that are being weaponized against innocent. New Yorkers. The DA hailed the young women who discovered the altered images of themselves online and went on a mission to find who was responsible. He underestimated their bravery, their resilience. These incredible women are not victims. Today, they are my heroes. I commend them for their courage and I thank them for coming forward. The manipulated images have been removed from the pornographic website, but the DA cautions on the internet, anything can live forever. In Mineola, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. Carrie played a guilty to multiple charges ranging from promotion of a sexual performance to harassment and stalking. The court ordered him to stay away from the victims.